Get this. The James Webb Space Telescope just keeps blowing minds. A while back, it spotted the oldest galaxy ever. But now, it's found a supermassive black hole hauling but away from its galaxy at a bonkers speed. Like, for million miles per hour, this has got space nerds everywhere buzzing. What does it all mean? Webb's main job is to check out the first stars and galaxies. It's already snapped some killer pics of dying stars and galaxies from way back. This black hole thing is really messing with scientists' heads. Usually, black holes suck everything in, even light. But this one, it's actually making new stars as it zooms along, leaving this crazy long trail of baby stars stretching 200,000 light years. No one really knows why this black hole is acting so weird but a team led by Professor Bienda gave it their best shot. The Hubble telescope chimed in, too, backing up Webb's observations. They think the black hole sparks new stars when it hits gas and cools it down. And there's more. NASA just dropped some news about a galactic smash-up called ARP-220. Webb caught it shining bright. When two spiral galaxies crash like this, ARP-220 style, it glows like crazy in infrared light, which is perfect for Webb. ARP-220 is super bright, a trillion suns bright. To compare, our Milky Way is only about 10 billion suns. It's hanging out in the Serpent's constellation, about 250 million light years away. It's the brightest of the three closest galactic pileups to us. Around 700 million years ago, two galaxies ran into each other, setting off a massive burst of star making. The area is packed with gas and about 200 big star clusters. Before, radio telescopes found tons of dead stars, supernova remnants. There. Then Hubble showed that the two galaxies are still pretty far apart, but each one has a spinning ring of star formation that blazes in infrared. Webb's newest pics show the whole crazy merger, with faint tails stretching out, showing the gravity tugging between them. There are also these red and orange streams that's just scattered space gunk. And hold on, there was this other thing. Researchers found some super-old galaxies way out at the edge of everything. First, they didn't believe it. So, they showed the data around, and sure enough, Webb confirmed they're the real deal. Now we can see the oldest galaxies ever. Light from these guys has been traveling for over 13.5 billion years to get here. That's like looking back in time. It helps us understand how galaxies popped up so fast in the early universe. The data says they're even farther out than Hubble could see. This is huge because it proves Webb can do one of its main jobs. Study the early universe by looking at light that's been traveling forever. It can measure light that's been stretched way out, redshift, which lets it see the first galaxies. People are stoked. This is a big step in figuring out the universe and how it all changed. It is such a big deal that NASA is cooking up even better telescopes to make absolute sure we know the Big Bang story. Information from Webb shows that some of these old galaxies are missing heavy stuff like carbon. That's weird, because the universe is supposed to be 13.8 billion years old. Do we need to rethink the whole thing? Some in the science world are worried because these discoveries mess with the current ideas of the Big Bang like, it is against the rules of thermodynamics and we don't know what started it. Also, Webb is finding galaxies almost as old as the Big Bang itself. According to physicist Michio Kaku, these old galaxies throw a wrench in everything we thought we knew. We used to think they were less grown up than the Milky Way. Now we're not so sure. Webb found six galaxies that were around only half a billion years after the Big Bang, and they're up to ten times bigger than our galaxy. Takes billions of years to make a galaxy like the Milky Way, so finding big, young galaxies might mean the textbooks need rewriting. Even with all this, NASA tweeted about a galaxy group only 650 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers looked at the data and think this group will grow into something huge, like the Coma A1656 cluster. The galaxies are in a spot where they're getting bigger, faster. Webb can measure how fast these galaxies are moving, so they know they're all stuck together. To picture it, NASA scientists said these galaxies are like little drops of water that will join to make a huge river. What we thought we knew about the Big Bang might not be right. Maybe the Big Bang did happen, but the cause is a different story. We need more info. Webb was sent up there to check out the first stars and galaxies, and it's already snapped some amazing pictures of stars dying and galaxies from way back soon after the Big Bang. 
This latest find is really messing with what we thought we knew about black holes. Usually, they suck everything in, even light. But this one, it's like the opposite. Instead of gobbling up light, it's making new stars along a trail that stretches like 200,000 light years. Scientists are scratching their heads about why this black hole is acting so weird. But a team, headed by Professor Bienda, just put out a report in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. NASA's Hubble telescope backed up the observation too, hinting the black hole creates stars when it touches some gases, while also cools it. We spotted the wake of the black hole. And there's more. NASA also let everyone know about ARP-220, a galactic merger web caught. The shining super bright among other galaxies. When two spiral galaxies smash together, it creates this thing called ARP-220, which shines brightest in infrared light. That's why the James Webb Space Telescope saw it perfectly. ARP-220 is super bright. It lights up like a trillion suns. For comparison, our Milky Way galaxy is only about 10 billion suns bright. So a while back, like 700 million years ago, two spiral galaxies crashed into each other, causing a huge burst of star creation. It made this dense area, only about 5,000 light years across, packed with 200 big star clusters. This tiny area has as much gas as the entire Milky Way. Before, radio telescopes spotted around 100 dead stars in an area that was less than 500 light years across and Hubble spotted the two galaxies in each core with infrared lights. Webb's new pictures show this awesome merger with stuff stretching out from the galaxies because of gravity. The red and orange colors show scattered bits of stuff. Another thing that baffled folks, Webb found some of the first galaxies ever way out at the edge of the universe. People weren't sure they were real. They wondered if maybe they were closer galaxies pretending to be far away. So they shared the data with scientists everywhere, hoping for confirmation. Sure enough, Webb proved they were the real deal. Now we can actually see the oldest galaxies ever. Astronomers think the light from those galaxies has been traveling for over 13.5 billion years to reach us. These galaxies came to be when the universe was in its early life, maybe 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. The Webb Telescope can see further back than Hubble. Finding these galaxies is a big deal because it shows that Webb can do what it was built to do. Study the early universe by looking at light that's been traveling for ages. It can measure super far distances, letting us see in the infrared range and spot those first galaxies. This has totally shaken up how we see the start of the universe. One physicist, Michio Kaku, even said that the discovery of these ancient galaxies has thrown a wrench into everything we thought we knew. It challenges some existing theories like the whole idea of cosmological inflation, plus the Big Bang theory which has some holes and doesn't explain how it happened. We used to think that galaxies did not exist back then. But this telescope that's finding galaxies almost as old as the Big Bang itself. Even though there were some doubts, NASA recently tweeted about a baby galaxy cluster from only 650 million years after the Big Bang. Scientists took a look at the info and think that this cluster will grow up to be as big as the Coma A1656 cluster. This area of space is unique and special, as it is in a place with galactic evolution. Since then, scientists can measure the speeds of seven of them, proving they will eventually make a larger galaxy. To get a picture of it, NASA scientists compared these galaxies to small drops that will one day become a large river. Our current understanding of the beginning of the universe doesn't quite add up. Maybe the Big Bang happened, but what caused it is still a mystery. We will have to wait and see what comes next. What do you think about these finds? Let me know in the comments.